made these carrots. Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. See some ruins up ahead. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know it all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Well, so much for that rock pile. Technically, it's called a cairn. Yeah, I, I don't like to say that word. It just sounds weird. Care, uh, this looks promising. Care. Come on, come care. on, baby. Nope, no, but no, I don't let's like go, it. Go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. <laughs> ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Shit. Get another cairn. Rock pile. Sorry, Sam. Right. Rock pile. Thank you. Onward and upward. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, Victor. What were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 four four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road, it might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shark pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding it. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> there. That ought to do it. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> wow, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha ha ha, poor oppressed pirates. Oh, 
All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, it could be a lot worse than here. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a form of squid. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rape? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. You to check out books from the library for me. What'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. You know, someone worked very hard to stack those rocks. Oh, look who's back. Yep. As I was saying, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. Check it out, boys. What is it? Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? 